Friendly reminder, guys, TQ and myself are going to have our own booth at the Equip Expo this year. The booth number is 11223. Super simple to remember, booth 11223. Two, two, three. We'd love for you to come over, take a photo, hang out, check out the flex shoot and other things we're going to have there. We're going to be doing three days of giveaways as well with a grand prize on the final day. Uh, make sure you swing by each day to get entered in. We're going to have tickets and then all those tickets will get put into a big collection and we're going to do a grand prize giveaway the last day at noon. Make sure you guys get there, get entered in. And another friendly reminder, make sure you use code SPENCER to save yourself 50% on those tickets. The deadline is very, very soon. Let's go, guys. We're loaded up and ready to rock. Good morning, guys. How are you doing on this beautiful Ohio day and wherever you're at? <laughs> <laughs> Might not be so beautiful where you're at, but yes. hey, God's in control. It'll be a beautiful day maybe tomorrow and we won't have such a beautiful day. <laughs> Anyway, it's gonna be a scorcher here in Ohio, a little bit behind with the holiday weekend and just everything, but we're gonna to get to it here. And uh, yeah, I will say, driving the 22 here compared to the dump truck, feels really weird. Feels really weird. The uh, smaller V8 in this truck compared to the regular cab we had, which had the big V8 in it, uh, definitely you can tell the, the lack of power, I'll say it like that. And not it's not as bumpy. <laughs> yeah, definitely not as bumpy as the Dodge. The Dodge is like driving a rattle can around. Oh, man. But uh, no, this truck's not horrible with power, but there's definitely a definitive difference between the big V8 and the smaller V8. So if you can get the big one, highly recommend it. But anyways, we got enough power, got enough coffee in us. Ready to get to it, TQ? I'm ready. Let's do it. Got my big ear muffs in the dump truck, so rocking the old school ISO tunes today. So it looks like they moved their lunch area into where we typically mow, so I'm gonna have to trim all that. Let's play a little game here. Do you think we should charge the customer more money? because this was not a part of the original contract and this is gonna be very time consuming and more work to be honest with you for TQ back here. Comment one if you think we should charge the customer more money or comment two if you think we should just chalk it up as a loss and move on with the day. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually give you what we're gonna do at the end of this video. tables and little benches so I'm gonna move them out of the way one time and mow it pretty low and that way uh, it should be all right for a little while I sped the video up but in real time it took TQ about two minutes to move all these tables and benches out of the way so remember one if you think we should charge them more two if we should just chalk it up and move on
So overall, it added about 10 extra minutes onto the job here just to move everything and put it back. So remember, at the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you guys exactly what we're gonna do. Let's go. That was a chore. <laughs>
roads and obstacles on the lawn. Pretty much everywhere. <laughs> I think the only spot was probably the easiest over here. But we got it done. Took a little extra time. Tell you what, in that back there, I did not want to just trim around all the the tables and the little benches. So I'm like, I'll just move them and mow them low. dried up mud there, this mud rug runoff that he was uh, cleaning up there. area from out front here and out back. Did you already explain that all yeah. too? Yeah. yeah. I think it was a good call. They almost need just like a cement pad back there. Yeah, that would be nice. And we'd have to shovel it. Hey, okay. <laughs> act like there's not enough concrete here. Right? All the chickens decided to come say hello. Anyways, we had to cut today short because uh, as soon as we got done with that big commercial, we got we loaded up, got into the truck, and Sean just like turned his neck and something pulled. And it, it's hurting him pretty good. So um, we had to come home. He's going to, he went inside. He's going to soak it, put some, a compress and stuff on it and everything, see if he can't get it to uh, ease up some. I thought about going back out and doing it myself, but honestly, the properties we had on schedule today really needed really need both of us. So we're gonna.
take the rest of the today and see how he heals. So All right, y'all. I don't know what's going on with me right now. I'm able to move my neck a little bit more. I've been icing it. But uh, got done with the big company. I felt my neck starting to tighten up right there towards the end of the video. And we left. And right when I went to pull out, I look left and my neck is locked up completely. And I mean, like, all the way home. Like, I mean, I had like this much. I got to turn my shoulders just to turn my head and this has happened one other time i think i was probably about 11 or 12 years old but uh and it doesn't hurt you just don't have any movement but now i've been icing it and uh just using this bad boy here because it you can wrap it around but uh now i got I'm, I'm able to move more like i'm i'm getting my mobility back like i'm able to move it a little more but now I just got this pounding headache right on the right side into my ear, kind of just uh, the whole right side of my head. I don't know what's going on. And that hurts. I'd rather have just the neck issue going on than this because I, I've already taken four Tylenol, been drinking water, and uh, I don't know. To me, it seems like when I push my head this way, like I feel like it going right up the whole side of my head. No, I'm not dehydrated and drinking plenty of water. Uh, it just stinks because it's, I mean, you can, I don't know. I, it, it's kind of hard to focus exactly where it is because my, that headache, but then the pain, the pain almost seems like it's going down this line here. So, yeah, I'll be good. It just stinks because it kind of ruined our day. We had a lot of mowing we needed to get done with the, the holiday yesterday. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep icing it, keep working at it. I was going to hop in the tub. Uh, TQ unloaded the trailer and everything, but I just got so much stuff I need to get done still today. I don't want to get all cleaned up and then, you know, get more dirty, if you know what I'm saying. But So I called the chiropractor as well, left him a voicemail there at lunch, I'm assuming. But uh, got to get back in there and get, get going on the right track as well. Uh, I guess if you take anything from this video, make sure you're taking care of yourself. This one literally came out of nowhere. I haven't, I can't remember, knock on wood, the last time I had an injury, uh, like, you know, like a legit injury. And I'm assuming probably just from the bouncing, you know, mowing, because I mowed that entire thing. We had so much trimming to do. TQ took care of all that. And I think I might have just jarred myself loose, I guess, or something. I don't know. All right, guys, so feeling much better. The Tylenol finally kicked in. The headaches kind of reduced down. Still got that tightness in the side of my neck here, but I'm getting my movement back. So heat and cold's been doing really, really well for it. Drinking plenty of water. I'll tell you what, it is an absolute scorcher out here, though, right now. I'm going to see about getting some pressure washing done, and then i uh, got to get Miley or Sean Boy, one of them, to their sport. They both got sports tonight, but I promise you all, I would explain to you how we were going to do the extra work at that job. So we have eight more mows under contract for 2023. And knowing that it took her roughly about 10 minutes to do that, I'm going to add, you know, I'm going to take eight more mows, 10 minutes. It's an hour and 20. We'll just round it up to an hour and a half. Uh, you know, it's not a big deal. So an hour and a half worth of labor. And then I'm just going to break that down by our number. So if you do that by your number, uh, you'll come up with exactly what you need to add on to, you know, the overall cost. So that's how we're going to do it. And I'd say do it the way you want to do it. Uh, just you don't want to be doing a ton of work for free. You know, if it was like one time we had to move this stuff, you know, it wouldn't be a big deal. We would just do it and not worry about it. But this is going to be reoccurring as it looks. Uh, so we need to make sure we're covering ourselves. It is labor. It is time. And uh, 
yeah, none of that is free. So make sure you're not doing it for free as well. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, keep mowing, keep growing, keep making money, boys. We'll talk to you later. TQL, peace.